Hello again, my dear students. It's nice to be back. Our lesson 2 will be focusing on recognizing information through contextualized speech. Are you ready? Welcome! You are set to discover new lesson on using information. This time, you will be learning new ways to use information from speeches as you go along this learning journey. Are you excited? Me too! So take note that at the end of this lesson, you are expected to first use information from speeches that can be used in everyday life. Second, promote the interest and sense of responsibility in validating the quality of information needed in academic and personal use by identifying the types of speech according to purpose and develop the abilities to organize information and construct it into a text. So in the previous lesson, my dear students, you have learned the following how to write a news report using proper order of writing news report and getting information from news report. So, you have learned that we have different strengths and weaknesses. Sometimes, those weaknesses can make us feel worthless. But rediscovering and recreating yourself can transform you into an extraordinary individual. Now, the speech you are about to read will help you reflect your self-worth. I have some questions. Do you know who you are? When you look at yourself in the mirror, what do you see? The best version of yourself? A facade? A blank picture of yourself? Or you have got an amnesia? Or where you can no longer feel your inner self? That's the worst feeling one could ever have and comparable to darkness. What you see in the mirror is exactly what you see, what you get, and what you are. Again, the question is who you are. This poses you to rediscover who you truly are and how to reveal, redefine, and reactivate yourself again. To turn to your original condition, my dear students, Every time you broke your inner senses, every time you struck by your fears, every time you lost courage and hope, and every time you failed, blindfolded with all the shams and drudgeries in life, we are curtailed to bring out the best in us. Yes, the challenge is there all the time. Put your blindfolded off, for this is just the test of life. Always remember that. Remembering and believing who we are is just the start of living life to the fullest again. This is the first step. Next is to live the truth. You are created for a purpose, thus loved by God. With this, you will experience healing inside and that your completeness through Him will then radiate love and joy to others too. No philosophers, even the best ones, can give us the best ways to overcome your personal challenges. It is just a relationship with God. The best system is prayer. When you pray, you talk to God and your journey with Him will take place. It is our pause from time to time that we will be refreshed of something new, something better, a fresh start, a clean state, and a new journey to begin again. We choose differently. Remember, what matters most is not how others see you, but how you truly see yourself. Who are you when you are all alone, when no one is watching? How do you see yourself 
determines how you allow people to treat you. How you see yourself dictates what you expect from others, from life, from God. This is a choice today to be the greatest version of yourself. Do not forget to wear the best makeup smile and the world will smile at you. It is from Eden Gray C. Yonko on Overcoming Personal Challenges 2020. Now class, after reading the speech, amazing right? You are going to answer the following questions on your assessment notebooks. First, what type of speech was used by the author? Why you say so? Second, what is its purpose? And the last one is, how does this information lead you to your conclusion? Mm -hmm. I leave you to answer those questions. Great job! Now, based on the speech, you are going to answer the following questions. Write the letter of the correct answer on your assessment notebooks or on the worksheet provided for you. First, to overcome personal challenges shows hmm, complete the statement A. Optimism B. Courage C. Vigor or D. Both A and B Second The last two lines of the speech express A. Encouragement B. Arrogance C. Optimism D. Warning Number three, one can generalize about the speech is to A. Overcome personal challenges B. Bring out the best in you C. Be grateful or D. Both A and B Question number four An effective persuasive technique used by the speaker to emphasize her point is through appealing to a. Emotion B. Moral C. Reason D. Both A and B Number 5. The tone of the speech is more of A. Inspiring B. Criticizing C. Defending or D. Denying Well done! Now it is time to identify the different types of speeches according to purpose. These are the four basic types of speech according to purpose. The first one is the so-called informative, which provides interesting and useful information to audience. Example, Municipal Health Office or MHO telling the community on precautionary measures to avoid the spreading of virus. So it informs. That's why it is an informative speech. The second one is demonstrative. It means to demonstrate. It teaches you something that includes a demonstration of how to do the thing. Example, how to do proper hand washing. The third is the so-called entertainment. It entertains. It provides pleasure and enjoyment that makes the audience laugh. Example, telling about a hilarious movie. And the last one is persuasive, which means to convince people or change in some way or to start doing something. An example of this is convinced to become an environmentalist. You already know those kind of informative speech according to purpose, right? Now, did you enjoy learning the value of speech in our everyday life? This time, you will be making an example of informative speech. 
Below are the 11 simple ways to care for each other during the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic. What you're going to do is to arrange the following information to write an informative speech. Use the answer sheet or your assessment notebook. What are the 11 simple ways to care for each other during the COVID-19 coronavirus pandemic Greenpeace Philippines which was published on March 27, 2020. First, volunteer your time. Second, check in on elderly neighbors. Third, look after yourself. To look after us all, flatten the curve. Fourth, a cool idea. Rent payment relief for self-isolated people without paid sick leave. Fifth, Instill empathy and concern for our health workers. Six, fundraise for people financially impacted by quarantine measures. Seven, reach out to people in self-isolation. Eight, combat misinformation online. Nine, share positive news and act kindness with your community. Number ten, make social distancing fun without video chat with video chat I mean. and lastly stop hoarding alcohol and hand sanitizers now that you had arranged it I believe that you already come across the different text types and its proper usage by the given examples now let us test how far you have learned about each text type now, you are going to identify the following examples according to text types. Write I for informative, P for persuasive, E for entertainment, and D for demonstrative. Write the answer on the worksheet provided for you or on your assessment notebooks. First, college professor lecturing on a specific topic during class. Number two, a lawyer giving a closing argument, a court arguing about whether the defendant is innocent or guilty of the crime. Third, chefs describing how to prepare a recipe. Fourth, tutors explaining how to solve mathematical equations. Fifth, speeches given by maids of honor or best men at weddings. This time, let's dig deeper in our lesson by getting information from the speech. Below is an excerpt of speech entitled, Dreams to Come True, delivered by our Senator Manny Pacquiao at Oxford University. Take note of what you're going to do. You're going to create five sentences from the speech below that show how the speaker persuades his or her audience. Let me read to you. Dreams do come true. An excerpt. It is a matter of record that I only had traditional formal schooling until secondary school, grade 12. It was only recently that I reached university level through the alternative education program. We were dirt poor. I had to work since the age of five to help my mother fed my three siblings and me. Many days, I was lucky to have one full meal. On days when we had no food, I would drink lots of water just to fill my stomach. But my mind and spirit were never hungry. I read anything I could get my hands on. I even read the newspaper that my lunch or dinner came wrapped in. I read signs everywhere, even on moving vehicles. I learned measurements and weights by constantly reading the rates and tariffs at the warehouses where I work as a Steve door, a docker in your parlance. And for me, the morning did come, warm, bright and simply amazing 
a lesson in what can be achieved if you have determination. If you ignore the ads against you, and as you are taught here at this magnificent institution, never ever quit. Think of David and Goliath. Look at me. I am not B. And I never had five smooth stones to throw at any obstacle. But determination is a powerful tool. I won a lot of fights. A speech delivered by Emmanuel D. Pacquiao. Great speech, right? So, what do you think is that speech? I know you have learned a lot from our lesson today. So, I would like to thank everyone for listening. See you on the next lesson.